Uh, Ms. Archila is the co-executive director of a left-leaning advocacy group called the Center for Popular Democracy. Ms. Gallagher is a recent college graduate. They were among a larger group of protesters uh, who'd been outside Senator Flake's office. You sit in the Supreme Court. This is not tolerable. I think if it you had been have, just one story, my story and Maria's story, it would not have made a difference. It was the fact that it was thousands of people, thousands of stories, and Dr. Ford herself um, and I felt a sense of relief and a sense of possibility. I was reminded that it is through us standing for ourselves, for our lives, for the lives of others, that we make change in this country. The country deserves a process that's rigorous, that's responsible. But what the country really needs is a democracy that works for us. That's what we need. So what we're doing today with our voices, with our stories, with our protests, with our sittings, what we're doing today is breathing life into a democracy. We see in each other's faces and hear in each other's voices that change is on the horizon and we won't back down until it is reality. I could feel the collective energy of positive change in the midst of what looked like chaos. When we are empowered, we empower others, and they empower others in turn. And I think we have a revolution. We are building a story of us and giving our country a great opportunity to become a nation where we are all free. Our communities are under attack. We need your support now more than ever. We must take action together. Join us.